Hello there and welcome back. Today we talk about the Novation Peak. The Peak is one of my favorite desktop synth. It's a super easy to use unit but also very complex sounding and it can be as complex as you want because it offers a lot of possibilities and routing and we will check that and I will tell you in this video why I love it so much and show you some of my patches. Before going through that, uh, as usual, the way you can support me and support my page, uh, you can subscribe and share. That's the first and easy thing. You can buy the stuff you see here in the link down below. They're going to be affiliate links. So uh, you're going to pay the same exact amount of money or less if there's some offer and you will support my page. And the last things you can do is to subscribe to my uh, Patreon. On my Patreon, I usually I uh, do more in-depth video, there's more content, there's a Ableton project you can use, uh, many, many other things. And I will do some more in-depth uh, demo of the peak. So maybe we'll, we'll build some patch together and I'll show, I, I show some more uh, in-depth stuff. Anyway, that said, what is the peak? And also, you see that I'm pairing it with the Autobaum. It's definitely not necessary. It's uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, compression and drive, but we will put it back later on because I think these two guys work really well together. So the peak is a three uh, oscillator polyphonic synth. It's an eight voice and each voice uh, has three oscillator. And uh, the oscillator has all the common waveforms from sine, uh, triangle, uh, sawtooth, square, plus it has uh, the chance to use um, waves, uh, so wavetables, and you can create your own, you can upload your own. There's a, um, their component website where you can connect the innovation with a USB cable, where you can do all the uh, editing and maintaining and upkeeping things. So you can save your patches, you can upload patches from of the artist, and you can also upload and create your uh, wavetables. And that's pretty amazing. For my Patreon, I will save all of my patches and you will download it and you can use it. Okay. So what I like instantly of this synth is the fact that it's very well laid out. You have all the control that you need and most of the time I don't have to do any menu diving. So I have what I need in front of me and that for me is the most important thing. But... Uh, you have here your menu and each parameter, like for example, the oscillator parameter, the envelope has many more page. For example, oscillator page, uh, the oscillator section has nine pages. And then it's where you can go and uh, start tweaking all the interesting thing uh, from diverge, drift. Uh, it can get extremely uh, deep what you can do. And I honestly don't do that too much because uh, I just like how it sounds basically. So sometime I dip, I dive into that. The another thing though that I really like is the mod matrix. The mod matrix basically it offers you, I think, 16 pages. Um, what? So you have slot, I think it's 16, yeah, exactly. So this 16 slot, it's where you can patch a lot of the control and a lot of the knobs or uh, things that are on the um, peak, and you can patch to other parts. So for example, in the this patch that we were playing, oh, this is, a, uh, sorry, this is, a, I went to an init page, so let's select uh, the ACID patch that I was playing with. A 
as you hear, there's some changing and evolving, and that is made with the mod. Basically, I mapped the LFO2 to the oscillator level. That's oscillator 2 level. So the LFO bring in and out the oscillator 2. And you can hear that. It's pretty subtle, but it's there. And uh, there's many other things that you can do, and we will uh, we will see probably some of them. Uh, let's check out all the section of the synth so we understand, and we start with a. Uh, basic patch. So you press initi initialize and now you have your sorted uh, oscillator and the, in a, only the oscillator one will work. Let's keep it open. So let's go at, do a tour of this sounds, the waves that you can use. So these would be your sine, triangle, sorted, and uh, square. For each uh, wave you have a, a sh shaper and I already like how this simple control change a lot the sound of it. Those are called Oxford oscillators, so they are their own oscillator and their own take. I really like it. it it's, I think it's all digital control, but they're analog. Uh, it's an analog synth. Uh, I guess. It should be. Because I don't see this hate voice analog. Everybody would s say that, but maybe innovation is, uh, is um, humble. I don't know. Anyway, don't, don't, as usual, go check the manual because I might say something that is not really, really true. We want to just have, I want to just give you a, tr um, a tour so you know why I like it. I don't care too much of the small prints. Anyway, so the fifth position is when you get into the uh, waves. So at that point, here with more may means that you can choose a selection of wavetables. There's many and you can you can definitely add your own or create your own. So this become a pretty uh, interesting sounding because you we will have three voices uh, three oscillator per voice and each voice can be a different wavetable and then you can also modify the shape with the left so it, it's an interesting interesting uh, scene that puts everything together in a very simple way so let's just go with the simple stuff and then we will have some more fun so let's add a second oscillator. As usual, you will have your uh, tuning thing. So you can create the sort of drifting thing. There's a drift um, uh, setting here. And this all uh, works in like uh, moving the voices and spreading the voices. So it's it's pretty nice. You have also the chance to decide the voice uh, unison. I, I mean, it means that for each um, trick that you put, uh, you can play one until eight. So basically, whenever you push a note, it will trigger the full eight voices. This will grant you a bigger sound. 
So as you hear, right now we just put the oscillator. One is in a square and the other are in sotto and it already sounds pretty big. You can use the detune here. And the spread that it's a very cool thing. As you hear with the spread at zero, the all the voices are like in the center, uh, stereo-wise, because this is a stereo synth. Of course, when you start spreading, here we are. You got this super wide sound. Let's keep working on this big bass that is a classic sounding thing. So after you decide uh, what oscillator you want to use, here is your mixer of the oscillator. You have a ring possibility and you also can add noise. This is your gain that is useful when you can use it the mod if you want to do some effects, some vibrato, some uh, tremolo. Then you have your amp envelope, and this is how I usually work with the uh, sound. Uh, the amp envelope is a classic attack, decay, sustain, and release one. So from here, you can go on a pad kind of stuff, but I want a bass, something. Once you set up, you go in the filter section where you have, in order, the LFO one that is uh, hardwired to the frequency. So we can add a touch of it. This is basically the oscillator tree that would impact on the frequent on the filter mode that sounds pretty interesting your classic heat tracking so the lower you get the, le the if, if you turn it up the lower uh, note will open the filter less so that's to you how you want to use it you have an overdrive for the filter the filter can be low pass, band pass, and high pass, both at uh, 12 dB or 24 uh, slope. Let's use these and let, let's now add. Let's work with the. This is the envelope depth that it can be linked to the amp envelope or the mod envelope that you have here. You have two different mod envelope. So I'm controlling the with uh, an Arturia keyboard and a uh, Drew Ableton. So let's reuse back the um, pattern that we have before. So now you can start working with some other modulation if you want. I never, I've never been a fan of the pitch modulation, so I always kind of leave it as is. Could be interesting. Yeah, this sounds pretty massive. The overdrive on the filter had a nice harmonic to it. Then you go in the last section of it, that is the effects part, that honestly I really, really like. So 
for this sound we would like some distortion. Then you have a chorus with three different chorus from a, let's say, a less intense to the big chorus. Let's add a touch of it. You have a reverb, again with three different settings. If you go in the FX page, you can see all the detail of the uh, effects in detail. So you can decide the wet level, the dry level, all the routing, if it's parallel or not. You can decide to root this effect in a different way, and already you hear how it sounds interesting. you have all of the different uh, parameter. I like how it sounds this one. Let's add some delay. As you can hear, in one minute you get that very big bass uh, patch. Of course you can map also uh, the um, aftertouch and all the other things. I don't use them a lot, so just take it as it comes. Uh, you have the possibility to use the animate button so you map some control to them and pressing that is push sensitive it will change something so it's not like you create scene and you can push and change the effects change the uh, filter i don't use that a lot again I, I like more to just put my hands on it uh, let's hear if you use less voice how this guy sound would be just one voice as you can see here you can see ah, the voice that are triggered and active there's of course a way on how you can use the voice in a different way but never get into that uh, then last things that we didn't see uh, you have a glide function and an arpeggiator with a uh, latch on now let's see and here you have your arpeggiator uh, page where you can select uh, the source of the tempo the different parameter there's also a rhythm part where there's some pre-made rhythm it's very cool uh, but we don't want that because maybe a little glitch could be fun glide sorry let's go back and add more voice because we like to have this massive thing so let's say the patch is done you like it actually let's have fun with the mod so i show you guys how the mods work let's find out so as you can see here you decide uh what is gonna be the modifier like could be the lfo there's many things that can be so the mod wheel the aftertouch express pedal the lfo one you have uh, actually four lfo two here and other two are hidden in the LFO page. So that's uh, something that you have to menu dive 
to work, but it's pretty easy because you go LF41, two, three, and four, and you can decide all the parameters, so it can be very complex too. Uh, but simply put, let's put LF42. So we go here, LF42. You can decide or if it's just positive or uh, bipolar, uh, unipolar or bipolar. And then it can be direct to a destination or it can be another thing that modulate that. It could be the uh, pitch wheel, the, the band wheel, whatever. But for now, let's use it that. And let's decide the destination. For example, say you want to modify the pitch of the three oscillator would be this one. And then you have to decide the depth of it. So, for example, now, if I start this, and even the LFO working, you won't hear anything, but as soon as you start getting the depth, here we are. So at this point, you can just choose what you like. Say you want to change the shape of oscillator 1. So you have 16 of these slots, so you can uh, basically rewire and create these 16 matrix that it's pretty powerful, right? I never go beyond the three or four, but uh, check the manual again, but there's a lot of things that can be the modulator and then it, the destination can be a lot of stuff, including the effects. So that's pretty fun. Let's say we like this patch to save. Also, you have an audition button here. If you don't have a, a keyboard with you, you just do that. With the save button, you press it, you name it. So we will call this Super Bass. Bass. Uh, here we are. Super bass. You keep pressing save. Uh, you decide the location. So it tells you where. Not on that one already. So this is an init patch. So I will save there. The bank. You have four bank. And then category. You can decide ARP, bass, whatever. And it's going to be bass. Press uh, saved. Now you have it. So let's go now through some of my favorite patches, the patches that you will find uh, in my Patreon. If you sign up, I will share all of them. I have uh, 30 or so uh, things that I work in the last few months that I use extensively. So let's just go through it and we'll listen. <laughs> I like this uh, kind of plucky sound in a uh, arpeggiator mode, and hear how the uh, effect section had to it. Very beautiful. But one of the things that I like more to do on the peak, and I think why I bought it is the uh, pads. I really love doing pads with this one. Let's hear this guy. Of course you can set the knobs on jump or follow mode. So these are the things that I love 
is this a simple evolving large pads I have something triggering here in the keyboard. Let's hear something else. Orbit. This is a sort of uh, organ-like sound and I'm using my favorite technique with the sound that is playing chords you don't know what they are and hope they sound good so far so good let's listen dub stab oh it's also nice to do sort of a dub chords Here I'm using the large reverb. God breath. This has to be epic. Kinda. Other things feel that these are in the. Um, sort of uh, inspired Somehow inspired to Stranger Things, who knows? Limbus, we listened before. Oberon. Wow, I love this one. adding some distortion with this one and crunchiness really take it to another level really really love this patch This one I mapped the... I don't know if it's a delay time. No, probably it's just a modulation, but I tied it to the aftertouch. It's very cool. Oh, I love this one. one 
And this one was uh, inspired to the Nick uh, and the sound track made by, oh, I forgot the name. You know what I'm talking about. I love this sound. There's something weird happening to my... keyboard who knows why let's hear something oh I like this one a lot One part is like, I like some time to have the starting from my preset and then modify them. It's very easy. To do that, of course, you need to be careful because if you have the setting that uh, the uh, whatever you do, it will change instantly. I, I, I like that because I use it this more of as a production tool. In live, I would uh, set the uh, knobs that first you have to reach the value, the saved value, and then it will change. Otherwise, you will have weird jump. I like this one too. As you can hear, there's this modulation made with the mod matrix. Let's hear a couple of more. I think these pads are incredibly beautiful. And most of my latest album, all the pads are done inside the peak. Okay, I mean, you can check all of these if you want on my Patreon again trying to sell it very bad today uh, and let's put something in the background and I will give you my final uh, consideration which one which one there was one that I really like this yep So what are my thoughts on the peak? Uh, I love this synth a lot. It's one of my favorites. I have it since uh, I think a couple of years now. Uh, before seeing all the goods, is there anything bad? I don't think so. I am very comfortable with it. I like how it's uh, made. I wish it had a se internal sequencer. I would make this things incredible but of course you can't have it all uh, I don't think there's anything that I would change honestly I probably would have bought the summit if I go back because the summit is their keyboard is two pick in one with multi-timbral option and here we are maybe the only things I would have hoped 
uh, wishes that this guy would have multi timbral possibility. It would have been amazing to have two different synths, considering you have eight voices, and have two different sounds at the same time, split your keyboard and have really uh, an incredible power under your finger. But I'm completely happy as it is. Uh, I use it consistently for all of my pets duties, sometimes for my best duties. I recorded an album that will come out in uh, fall, an Halloween called In Darkness, and most of the things have been done with the peak, plus the distortion on the uh, uh, bound. Let's change sound now, let's go with this one. beautiful and uh, so you will hear that it's it was super fun super easy and super powerful what came out you again you can do super deep in all of the possibility modulation things it's not something that I uh, look for in a synth I, I look for simplicity uh, and instant gratification this delivers you can though be smarter than me and you know do better work and, and do better patches. I really recommend it. It's not as pricey. I mean, it's above a thousand dollar, but definitely is something that it's worth. Built like a tank. I also love a lot the look of it. And that's it. I think I said everything. You can uh, sign up for my Patreon, where I will go through some more patch. We will build a. Um, few pads together and see what we came out with uh, and you can download the um, patches and use them and do whatever you want that said yeah thanks again for being here thanks for being supporter of the page thanks for sharing thanks for spreading the love and now we'll have some fun with innovation I'll see you next week Ciao, guys.